Well, as I'm sure you know, that is one of the most beloved and best known old time gospel songs we've got in our repertoire. Uh, we learned it originally back in the 1930s from the Carter family and Mother Maybell's picking uh, on her uh, six string Gibson guitar. Um, and this is kind of the way she played it. This style you can even do with a flat pick if you want. Um, but Maybell Carter and I both used thumb pick and fingers. And so you pick a bass note and then strum down over the top, maybe three strings, two, th two, three or four strings, doesn't matter. Just get that chord. And with a C chord, you can use your low G as your alternate bass. So there's your one, two, three, four. So you're playing the bass on the one and the three. Now let's see where we are with the melody and picking out this Carter family style melody. Um, and here we have to use our ear a little bit and see where the melody falls within the key of C. Now, will the circle... The, the actual start of the, of the tune is on this G note, which is the fifth in the key of C. And then you go to the open A, and then you see where it, which really starts the measure. So it's. So a couple of other things to mention here. When the melody uh, has quarter notes in it, or on the every note on the beat, you're not going to have time to put your strum in. What you do when you're when you're developing your style on the guitar is to bring in different things that are maybe a little unexpected or that just uh, enhance the melody a little bit. For instance, all these different hammer-ons do that. I mean, you wouldn't want to overdo that, but, but let's say on that part, right here on a cold a little chromatic lick that you can put in there. Now, if you're playing with a flat pick, you would play down up pattern, down up, down up, down. When I'm using my fingers, I alternate between my thumb and my index finger. There's another hammer on you can do at the second string. And if you bring this up to speed, So you can see even within that very simple melody, there's a lot of variations you can put into it just with these little hammer-ons, pull-offs, and little licks you can play. Well, welcome to part two of Will the Circle Be Unbroken? And uh, this is more of the uh, finger picking, Travis style, whatever you want to call it, uh, approach to this song. What we're going to be doing is playing in the key of C, but I've got my capo on the second fret, just like I did in the last lesson. And what I'm doing is playing a bass note and then a kind of a almost a chord. You could, you could play clean bass notes, or you can kind of do this. And I'm alternating every other bass note with my G note in the, in the, on the sixth string. Now, if I leave the bass out, here's the way the melody goes. It starts on the open G string, then to the G, 
string at the second fret, and then the C note here at the second string, first string, second string, third fret, C note, open, first string. So let's see how that looks. the beat with the thumb, but a lot of them were anticipating the beat. Between beats. And that's what you have to get really smooth. It's a lot harder to play this slower, by the way, than it is to play it up to speed. And then you can add things in there. Watch this. changes again. So I'm just very as with the A minor. Oh, what's that? Hammer playing a G7th here, pulling off the first string. Play a little more up to speed here. 